Okay, so basically, one of the best quotes for uh, pitching uh, was the one made by Albert Einstein. I'll try to satisfy Albert with explaining <clears throat> what we're doing quite simply to prove that we know what we're doing. Um, the best way to understand what real call is all about uh, is to imagine you 30 years ago going on holidays. Basically, uh, you were dependable uh, on, a, on a broker or tra on a travel agent and uh, only focus, uh, focusing on his offers based on uh, human driven uh, offers. Um, you could choose some Greece with bed and breakfast and uh, all inclusive in, I don't know, uh, Thailand. <clears throat> but then booking came and you could swipe the offers from all over the world. The, the next disruptor for the second sector of the market was Airbnb. And in 2007, they made uh, the same disruption as, as booking did to residential. They made it to, they, uh, as booking did to holiday properties, they made it to residential. But what we're facing right now is that the, um, the sector of uh, uh, commercial real estate is totally untouched when it comes to brokerage services. And you have no place in the world where you can rent a warehouse in Russia or in China, rent a retail space in Milan or rent an office in New York. So basically, we're trying to change that. But even if you have a great technology, you're still uh, lacking a great business model. And we believe that due to our um, experience in this market, we first of all came with the great business model. And instead of outdated listings that are dominated by the brokers all over the world, we managed to create matched inquiries, direct inquiries between tenant and landlords of commercial spaces, which makes the process much smoother and cheaper, but I have no time to talk about it right now. Uh, what we're doing is we're not only focusing on search and lease, or uh, we're doing also a fit out and usage to make the whole circle at the whole uh, cycle of, um, of a tenant's life within the building, uh, let's say as a one-stop shop in Rialco. Uh, what we've already achieved is a proof of concept with, of our business model and technology with the biggest landlords in Europe. We also managed to create the biggest database of commercial buildings and landlords worldwide. Yes, yes, that's right. The biggest database. We, we, we know what we're talking about. Uh, what we have is a great mixture of property people and tech people, as well as a VC operational fund which uh, gives us, supplies us with great tech. And I, by great tech, I don't mean the hype words, but we really know what the tech is all about. And the time's up. So what I wanted to say is that we're trying to be the uh, leading marketplace for tenants and landlords of commercial properties for this whole scope of services. If you like what I've been talking about, please uh, <laughs> give, us, uh, give us a heads up on, uh, on our uh, VC uh, email list. Thank you. Thank you very much, Conrad. Uh, Thank you. I will ask. I will ask. Le, I will ask the jury uh, to join to join us again. Uh, can you can you stop the, the screen sharing? And, okay. Uh, I. Thank I you very much. Did. Yep. I did. Okay. Great. So please do remember us. Uh, we have five minutes together. Great. So Conrad, let me just ask you: as one of those brokers that that you know that has that, that that has this information, but is rooting for you. Um, how do you want to go about finding the, the occupiers and at what level, meaning who is the addressable market here for bringing together both occupiers and landlords into your systems? Well, basically, when it comes to landlords, we have totally no problem starting with the biggest ones and the smallest ones as uh, we're the that's, uh, let's say, another way of getting them tenants. So basically, everybody wants tenants, right? And if they get it from brokers and they get it from our platforms, they don't matter where they're from as long as they're good, reliable tenants. What is uh, nice about us is that we get uh, one-fifth or sometimes one-tenth of a commission that broker gets uh, in Europe. So basically, they prefer getting it the tenant from us than from the brokers. So when it comes to landlords, it's easier than it 
I mean, it's easier than it sounds, but it really is easy. And we've got the biggest database of them right now in the world. And when it comes to Poland, we've already made a quite nice traction. When it comes to tenants, is we need to um, educate the market, uh, giving all the uh, explaining all the added, added values that they have. First of all, we get well, there are, there are lots of uh, advantages of using our platform because we get the same commission from every landlord, which is not that popular in Europe. So the broker tends to be biased, right? This is one some of the, let's say, reasons to, to use Rialco. And uh, so basically getting to tenants, reaching out to tenants is basically good marketing and uh, explaining them. When it comes to landlords, they're already there. Thank you. When you, when you think about scalability, uh, a software only solution is scalable. So what you're doing as a platform is definitely scalable, but your second part of the presentation spoke about value added services that needs physical presence. So how are you thinking about that from a scalability perspective? Well, we, 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 when it comes to fit out, you mean, for example, furniture, stuff like this? A fit out, repairs, everything else that you had mentioned okay. on that slide. So basically what we're doing is we're sending direct inquiries matched by the preferences from tenants and landlords. And we match them when it comes to uh, real estate brokerage. But what we do is we do the same with fit out companies. So basically we've got a list of fit out companies, let's say furniture companies, and we uh, send them inquiries from tenants and they match and then we get the commission. So basically it's the same uh, as the, the, the same story with uh, fit out as with uh, brokers, as with landlords, I would say. So it, it's the same business model. How do you ensure quality? Uh, we, uh, when it comes to furniture? Because if, as you geog uh, diversify geographically, uh, the quality of vendors varies across geography and the depth and penetration also varies. So if you're not doing it yourself, how do you ensure quality of service to your customers? Uh, we're not, we, we do not ensure the quality of the furniture they're going to buy from them. We just give them the offer they can choose from cheaper to more expensive ones, but we're not, ex uh, we're not giving them the quality of the service. We're just saying, this is the offer. You can choose this one or not as a marketplace. So we're, okay. we're not, okay. We don't want to be held responsible for the quality of the furniture actually, but uh, it's the same as, I don't know, newspaper ad or marketplace ad. We have a time for a last short question. When you think about expansion in places like New York City, what would you view a VTS as? VTS? Uh, I mean, the, you mean the platform? Yes. Oh, uh, actually, we've been approached uh, by VTS from London, and there's a there's a story behind it uh, saying that uh, there's an added value for both of our companies. I mean, they're huge and stuff like this, but uh, I mean, we could be there like. So, I don't know, subcontractor uh, for several, for several um, degrees of their uh, spectrum of their um, I don't know, work, the work they do. But basically, we're not afraid to um, scale into other countries because the time I've been in New York, JLL does the same thing in Poland as they do in New York. So basically, if you disrupt one market, then disrupting another one is kind of, you know, making, uh, having another money for it. So basically the, the, the whole world was, is dominated, but several companies for 200 years, starting from London, spreading all over the world. And if you break the system, I mean, you can break not the system in only one place, but in others also. Thank you very Thank much, you. Conrad. Thank you very much Thank to you. the jury members.